Amen. Amen. Uh, my brothers and sisters, we have uh, one that's coming as a candidate for baptism this morning. Oh, no, I think we can do a little bit better than that. We have one that has come for baptism. Oh, come on. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Amen. 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 We have young Mr. Kavon Isaiah Johnson, who has come to be baptized this morning. And upon the uh, profession of faith in Jesus Christ and in uh, compliance with the ordinances of our church and by the power given unto me, I now baptized Mr. Johnson in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, amen. Just take everything 
just want you. We just want you. We just, we just want you. Just want you. We just want you. Just want you. Anybody else happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Oh my gosh. That song just does something to me. I've been listening to that all week. <laughs> Giving our praises to God, we're about to start devotion. Uh, I'm going to be coming from Psalms uh, 34. I'm going to be reading the first through the eighth verse. And I'll be reading from the uh, New International Version if, if I'm reading a little bit different from you. And it reads, I will extol the Lord at all times, and his praise will always be in my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord in me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He, believed, he delivered me from all my fears. Those who looked at him are radiant. Their faces never covered but with shame. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. He said him out all his, he saved him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Again, I've read Psalms 34, uh, first through the eighth, the first through the eighth verse. May God add a blessing to the hearers, readers, and doers of his word. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Let us pray. Eternal Master, we come once again, dear Father. Come thank you, dear Lord, for allowing us to gather in this holy place once again. Father God, we thank you for blessing us. And thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to come to you, Father, to confess our sins. So, Father, we come confessing right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We've all sinned and come short of your glory, dear God. But Lord, we thank you, Father, for loving us anyhow. We thank you, Father, for going the route of Calvary, Lord, dying on an old rugged cross for all of our sins. Dear Father, we come asking you to continue to walk with us and guide us, Lord, on this teacher's journey, Lord. Father, we know that we've all sin against you and against you only dear God. We know you are able Lord to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. So Lord we just thank you for loving us. We thank you for your darling son Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ for dying Lord. We come asking Lord that you would just continue to 
strengthen us, Lord, as we move from being religious to become righteous, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the ministry that you've given us here at the Mount Horeb Missionary Church, Lord. And then, Lord, we thank you for the shepherds that you've blessed us with, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you would prepare us for a word from on high today, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to prepare our hearts, Lord, that, so that we will be better when we leave than we were when we came. Dear Master, we come thanking you, Lord, for family, Lord. We thank you for a friend, Lord. We, Lord, we know, Lord, that there are some of us we are going through situations right now, Lord. But we know, God, that you're an able God. And you can deliver us, Lord. You can, you can do things for us that we cannot do for ourselves. So once again, Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to continue to walk with us and talk with us, Lord, as we go on this journey, Lord. We just ask you to have your way, dear God. Now, Lord, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you would continue to breathe upon us, Lord, and give us the love for one another that you had for us, Lord. For we know that you were wounded for all of our transgressions and that you were bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripes, Lord, we are all healed. So we thank you, Lord, for your healing power. And we thank you for your saving power. Continue to lead us and guide us, Lord. And we forever give your name the praise and all the honor that you so deserve. For it is in the precious name of Jesus that we do pray and ask it all. And all who love the Lord say amen, amen and amen. Good morning, my Horeb. This is Happenings at Horeb. Mount Horeb Bloodline's 2023 theme is Fixing the Foundation. Romans 12, 9 through 21. February's focus is kindness. Happy Black History Month from our own Pastor Nash and First Lady Frangie Nash. We are fixing the foundation in 2023. Pastor is asking for 50 people to give $2,000 above their tithes and offerings to reach our promised land goal. Thanks to your generous donations, we will be taking our youth to the Universal Soul Circus. Thank you to all who donated. Our church-wide orientation series, Tuesday Night Insight, will be at 7 p.m. Welcome to the Mount Horror family, Tracy Fuquay and Kenneth Johnson. Our version of Sunday School Christian Cross Training is now every Sunday at 10.15 a.m. with coffee, donuts, and classes for all ages. Don't forget to join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for our online prayer call. Happy birthday to all of our Horeb February birthdays. Happy anniversary to Deacon Jerrion and Felicia Smith. There are five ways to give. By mail, PayPal, Givelify, Cash App or Zelle. Don't forget to connect with us on iTunes, Facebook, Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or the Bible app. This has been Happenings at Horup. I'm Jaden Robinson. Have a blessed week.
Why don't we all say amen? Hey, let us all say amen again. Amen, amen, amen. The ensemble hit us with the 42 fate this morning. Yeah, I was singing along until they switched up on us. What, what's going on? Amen. I'm just a pastor. That's all, y'all. I'm just, I'm just a pastor. Amen. But thank you so much uh, to our ensemble uh, for blessing our hearts uh, through song. Y'all feeling all right? Yeah. Amen. Y'all sure enough looking good this morning. Yeah, you usually look like a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, but we're going to throw some sausage on that mug. Amen. We are excited to be back in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. And we welcome you to our uh, Black History uh, Sunday. Amen. Amen. And uh, we're not going to hold you long at all. We're here for a good time and not a long time. Amen. Amen. Now it is time for us to worship in our giving. Amen. Amen. You do know that uh, giving is a part of worship. Amen. 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 And to those of you in our cyber sanctuary, uh, we ask that you would use the giving avenues uh, that are posted in the, um, in the comment section. Amen. 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 The deacons are now moving to receive our gifts. If you have, this is Tide's offering. Uh, if you have promised land plan gifts, this is the time to do so. Sir, thank you, ma'am, uh, for what you do to support this ministry in a financial, in a financial way. Amen. 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 Come on, Big Steve. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, George Clooney. How much time do I have, Pastor? Oh, you got, your time is already ticking. <laughs> Good morning, church. Several years ago, I uh, went through a pretty intense Bible study. It was called Experiencing God. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Uh, it was by, written by, uh, I believe it's William Blackaby. It's a very intense study. And the precept of the study is that God is always at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God is always at work work. We are invited to join him in his work. 
And I want you to know, I don't know, you, you may not have noticed, but God is at work in this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said we, amen. We see the evidence all over that God is at work at Mount Horeb. And I'm so glad that he invited me, he invited you to join in that work. Man, we had a group of men yesterday. I think there were nine. Uh, there might have been ten men that came up, and we we put on the gloves, and we got after it. You see all the garbage over here? I, I don't know if you noticed. We got rid of some junk and uh, cleaned up the Lord's building. I think there were some ladies inside doing some work. And I'm just thankful for the men and for the women Amen. who are ready to step up and, and do what needs to be done. All right, now to the what I'm reason I'm up here for. Thank you, Pastor, for giving me that extra time. We want to honor our first-time guests this morning, and I know we have at least two. And I'm going to ask, if you will, if you're a first-time guest, would you please stand? Let us honor, honor you, please. You don't have to, but if you would, we appreciate you. We have... We have Miss Lynette. Is that correct, Miss Lynette? And we have Miss Tan Tandria. We're so thankful that you're here this morning. There's another couple, you can be seated. There's another couple that I really didn't get to introduce last week. I, uh, uh, Johnny and, and Capri, this couple here. We're so glad that you're back this morning. And, and I want to correct something. Uh, that happened several weeks ago, and I missed it. And I want to take this time to correct it. Uh, James and Stephanie, they've been coming for several weeks now. But the first Sunday that they were here, I didn't get their names. In fact, I didn't even realize that they were first-time guests. And so James and Stephanie, I wanted to take this time to say we are so glad that you have come to Mount Horror. And if there's others, and I, I know that we have regular guests, we're just thankful that you're all here this morning. Um, is that enough? Yes, yes. I love you. You, you look beautiful this morning. Amen. Amen. That is Big Steve Smith. Amen. And he gives leadership to our greeters and, uh, yeah, that, uh, uh, to our greeter ministry. And uh, you cannot, well, you better not touch that front door, Big Steve there. He won't even give you a chance to touch the front door. So I'm, I'm praising God uh, for, his, um, for his commitment uh, to being a greeter. Amen. He, he remembers names. Amen. And I'm excited to have somebody that remembers name. <laughs> Amen. So thank you, Big Steve. Uh, thank you uh, so much to all who are here uh, today. Uh, the program now calls for our Black History program. Are we ready? Is that a yes or a no? That's a yes? Okay. They're ready. So if you would uh, receive our youth and uh, children, as they call, and our women. Lord have mercy. Amen. Amen. Three minutes. They want three minutes. Are we ready for the video, Angela? Okay. All right, focus, if you will, focus on the screen. My favorite black history person is Martin Luther King because he made a speech to a lot of black people and, and the white people with, um, um, treated the black people unfairly. Hi, my name is Justice Hutchins. Let's talk about Barack Obama. Barack Obama was the 44th president of the United States. He he been in the office for over eight years. He also is is the 
first black president of the United States. My, my black history character is George Washington Carver because he he discovered like like around 300 different ways to use peanuts and he helped southern farmers um, like plant their things. Amen. Hello, my name is Sam Nash and I'm going to be talking about Aretha Lewis Franklin. What? Aretha Lewis Franklin is an African American soul singer. Her mom was a Christian singer. Her dad was a pastor. My favorite song about her was R E S E C T. Aretha L. Franklin. My favorite black history person is. Amen. Come on, let's give our youth a, a big round of applause. Amen. We thank God for technology, and uh, we're not scared to use technology here at Mount Horror Beltline. Amen. And so we want to say thank you to our youth workers uh, for uh, that 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 video. Amen. Amen. Thank you to these children. Amen. For and, and, Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, is three minutes up yet? <laughs> Ain't five more minutes. How about this? Let me go ahead and give my pastoral ob observations. We can go and get those out the way. Uh, the first uh, first observation I want to uh, announce, I've been, uh, I'm scheduled to preach next Tuesday afternoon at the uh, Dallas Baptist Ministers Union meeting. Uh, it's at Bear Street Baptist Church on Marcellus. Um, and so it's going to be at, at 12 noon on next Tuesday. And so if you can and will, please come on and bring your amens, because I'm going to need all the amens as possible. Amen. So if you are free and if you can, please make your way uh, to the Bear Street Baptist Church at 12 noon on next Tuesday. Also, as we've, uh, we already said, uh, if you have not looked at this large storage room, uh, I challenge you to uh, to look at it today before you get out of here because we men cleaned out that storage room. Amen. And now it is, it is free and clear to be recluttered again. Amen. Now the next, the next order of service that we're going to do, uh, we won't we want to go through each of these rooms, uh, and, and if we have not already, look in those cabinets and figure out what we're going to keep and what we're not going to keep. And it, this would be the perfect opportunity if we need to do some painting as well. Uh, so we want to spruce things up. Amen. We want to spruce things up around here, and, and we have the necessary folk to do so. Amen. Amen. I, I, I thought I said something right there, D. Amen. We got the necessary folk to do so. So please come on and, and, and help us out. This coming month, uh, March, we'll, we're moving from kindness to uh, slothfulness with our uh, focus of the year. And so I'm asking everyone for the month, for the entire month of March, I'm asking, this is be our foundational focus, I'm asking that you be on time for everything. Church don't start at 11.15, church starts at 10.15. Amen. Tuesday Night Insight starts at 7, 7 o'clock. So I'm asking, please, sir, please, ma'am, for the entire month, let us aim to be on time for everything. 
Look at your neighbor and say, he's talking about you. Amen. Amen. That's what we're going to aim to do on next month. Amen. Amen. All right. The ladies are ready. Y'all not nervous, are you? All right. If you would, please give a big round of applause to, uh, y'all got a name? <laughs> to the women of Mount Horeb as they come to give us a praise dance for Black History, for our Black History Sunday. Amen. Oh, come on, we can do a little bit better than that. Thank you, ladies. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. That that reminds me of last night. Uh, those of you who was not here, you missed a treat. Uh, we learned some line dances on last night. And uh, I want to apologize to those of you who came to be a part of karaoke. Uh, we didn't get a chance to do karaoke last night, uh, but but don't worry, we're going to have another opportunity uh, for a karaoke. Uh, but we had a wonderful time on last night. Thank you uh, to the couples ministry. Y'all know we got a couples ministry now. Amen. Sister Felicia Smith and Sister, uh, Sister McGowan, DeShanda McGowan, amen, did an excellent job uh, on last night, and the food was scrumendous. Yeah, it was scrumendous. Yeah, it was scrumendous. Amen. So uh, look forward to the next uh, function that we're going to do. Uh, but we, we're now up, we're now up uh, to the reciting of our theme in Scripture. And so I'm going to ask that everyone will please stand as we recite our, our theme and Scripture uh, for the year of 2023. Uh, our, let's, let's say it together, our theme is fixing, is what? Oh, I thought y'all said something else. I'm sorry. Our theme, let's do it again. Our theme is fixing the foundation. And our scriptural reference is Romans chapter 12, uh, verses 9 through 21. And this month we're talking about slothfulness. Uh, but we'll go ahead and read together. We're reading from the King James Version. And so if that's not the version that you have in your Bible, we ask that you would just look on the screen as we read together. Amen. Y'all ready? Amen. Amen. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Distributing to the necessities of the saints, given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind, one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, Give him drink, for in doing so, you shall reap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Amen. May the Lord, you may uh, keep, keep, keep standing, please keep standing. Uh, we want to go ahead and sing our hymn of preparation, and then following that, the next voice that you will hear will be that of our esteemed uh, executive pastor, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Dr. S.C. Nash Sr. Amen. We're going to be singing um, 
down at the cross will be our hymn of preparation. I'm trying to give the, uh, the media team time enough to get the words together uh, so that we all can sing together. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's do it. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where from cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to His name. I'm singing glory to His name, precious name. Glory. Timothy, 1st Timothy, 3rd chapter, 16th verse, 1st Timothy, 3rd chapter, 16th verse. And without controversy, great is the mystery of God. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up in glory. You may be seated. I took a chapter from my book, The Black Church, and used it for today.
if you don't have a copy of this, where is Pat? She's around somewhere. Give her your name and we'll get a copy to you. I want to talk from the subject when the sovereign dips into the secular. When the sovereign dips into the secular. And I thought that that would at least appeal to each of you. When you think of the Holy Spirit indwelling believers, you think in terms of the sovereign God taking up residence in your life. That's really where we are and where we ought to be. The sovereign God taking up residence in you. We talk of the spirit, but we seldom really understand it. The Holy Spirit, we talk in terms of it taking up residence in our lives. And I thought that today we ought to come to understand it. The Holy Spirit taking up residence in our lives. Because that's what it's all about. The Holy Spirit being real. real in us. A lot of time was spent in writing this book. but not so much time that we don't understand it. Spent much time talking about the pillar of truth and the foundation of truth. And truth here means the gospel 
of Jesus Christ. The word of God. It's apparent that God expects the church to maintain, preserve, contend for, and proclaim the gospel of truth. This is our purpose. This is not the work of the large civic organizations, state, or society in general. It's what we as the people of God ought to be about. Everything else we do in and of the church is relevant only as it contributes to this great objective. Benevolent work, hospital visitation, feeding the hungry is important work. But Christ did not come primarily to do those things. He came solely to indwell us. Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. And Paul reminds us of this great truth. The Holy Spirit dwells within us. And so let me just emphasize a couple of things. First of all, the emphasis of the mystery of God. The text says, and without controversy, great is the mystery of God. The adverb used here without controversy means by common consent or undisputedly a system of religion. The truth of God. term mystery of godliness needs explaining. The word godliness means religion or piety and can be thought of 
as a system of faith, a system of devotion. Mystery in the Greek means not something that is mysterious, or something that cannot be explained, but that which is secret. And secret because man cannot discover it. It is of his his own intelligence that he gives himself unto it. It takes revelation. Spiritual, spiritual discernment. to understand it. A fellow by the name of Lord John Ogilvy in his study of Mark's gospel says, mystery is the truth reserved only for disciples. Often Jesus would pronounce the truth to the great public and then he would say in private to his disciples. Now this is what I really meant. It's safe to say that the mysteries are hidden from those who but read the Bible. But open to the disciple. I think I ought to say that again. <laughs> the mysteries are hidden often from the Bible reader but open to the disciple. A disciple is more than a reader of truth. He explores, studies, applies, and promotes truth wholeheartedly. In a very real sense, the mysteries are not mysterious to the disciple. They are his incentives. So Paul is talking about the mysteries of godliness. But then he goes on to say, secondly, that the sovereign dips into the secular. The text says God was manifested in the flesh. This is a reference to the incarnation of Jesus Christ. 
See, Wallace Ham Hamilton called it serendipity. <laughs> In the book, the, the where is his name? He suggests that when the Logos became flesh, it was serendipitous. Serendipity is when the serene dips into the secular. I believe it's safe to say that serendipity is when the sovereign becomes social. When God becomes a man. This truth is the basis of Christianity. You're right, you're right. This is the essence of God becoming a man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could go on with this theological discussion. But when it comes to our conduct as a people of God, as a church, it means that the word was made flesh in Jesus 2,000 years ago. And he will become flesh in us today. God's manifestation in the flesh was not only a one-time happening. But it was a, a conscience thing. For every century. Every time an individual receives Jesus as his Savior and Lord, the Word becomes flesh and should manifest itself even in this 21st century. If this truth is understood, then we're ready for a deeper truth. The truth is that when the people of God live by the truth, fleshing it out in everyday matters, then the word of God becomes more than a textbook. It becomes the Christian spiritual Makeup. We display the truth by living the gospel in everyday situations. This is a radical change, a revolution. in lifestyle that affects the lives of others. In a very real sense, this is how the serene dips into the secular. This is really the ground of our revolution. Each time we live the truth, we invade satanic territory and literally claims it for 
our God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is not that what happened in 2000 when God entered the stream of, of human history? He, he through Jesus became a man. The birth of Jesus was to ransom men from the damnable plight. What Christ did in redemption he did for the benefit of his chosen people. His victory over Satan is a credit to the believer. See, Calvary literally destroyed Satan. Destroyed and diminished all of Satan's claim upon humanity. The birth of Jesus was to ransom men from their damnable plight. What Christ did in redemption, uh-huh. he did for the benefit of his chosen people. Right. His victory over Satan is a credit to the believer. Right. You see, Calvary literally destroyed Satan and canceled all his claims upon mankind. The revolutionist knows that God has placed the enforcement of Calvary's victory in his hand. He labors to share it with everyone. God has given the power of attorney to the church. We are God's revolutionary force in the world, deputized to act in his behalf. And I dare to say, we cannot fail him. He indwells us to guarantee victory over evil. To guarantee victory over racism. Bigotry. Discrimination. Disenfranchisement, sin and degradation. The Bible tells us what to do, and we should do it. We must ever remember that life for us is a battlefield. And it's a battlefield, not a playground. The good news is that God has indwelt us.
We ought to let him have his way. Every man, every woman, boy and girl, should let him have his way. I guess I can say it with some music. The Bible tells us what to do. And we should do it. You must ever remember the life for us is a battlefield. The good news is that God has indwelt us to empower us to do all that he demands. And we ought to let him have his way. So let him be God all by himself. I'm mindful of the hymn writer's song says, Oh, hell, the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Ye chosen seed of Israel's race, ye ransomed from the fall. Hail him who saved you by his grace and crown him. Say crown him. Crown him. Lord of all, that seems to be where we are today. Crown him. Crown him. Hey. Hey. Crown Why don't we all say amen? amen. Uh, we praise God for, for his word. Uh, amen. You, you didn't think you was going to come to church and take a seminary class this morning. But we praise God for Dr. Nash. Come on, Deke. Amen. amen. There just may be someone in the building. 
uh, who does not know our Savior and Lord. And maybe you've been coerced through the preaching of the word to allow the Lord to have take up residence in your life. Everything that we say, everything that we do is tailored toward this moment. When some unsaved man, woman, boy, or girl could come and receive Jesus Christ into their lives. I don't know who you are, but if the Lord spoke to you on this morning, it's your time. As we all stand. Amen. Let's give another big round of applause to the executive pastor, Dr. Nash. Amen. I, I continue to tell y'all, y'all sipping from the salsa. Yeah, you sipping from the salsa because I am I'm what I am today because God has worked through this young man and the overflow from his cup falls on the salsa and so you sipping from the salsa and I praise the Lord I thank the Lord for this opportunity not only to pastor a, a magnificent church I, I'm talking about y'all but I get to do it alongside my road dog my homeboy my teacher my mentor And I even, the Lord even blessed me enough to have his name. Right. Amen. Hey, so I'm excited. Uh, I got tears of joy. Uh, yeah, just tears of joy. Uh, and I've said it before, as long as Dr. Nash is able to talk, and as long as he's able to think clearly, 
then he shall preach. Amen. And I don't care who don't like it. <laughs> Amen. 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 Come on. Come, come on, Kavon. Amen. This was, come on, y'all. Give him a big round of applause. We baptized him this morning, and so, matter of fact, let me pause right here, because we baptized him this morning, but there's still water available. There just may be someone who wants to be baptized, and it's still warm. All I got to do is go in there and put on my stuff and we ready to go. We got stuff over here ready just in case someone just want to come and get baptized. All right. All right. All right. We even do baptisms after the service is over with. Because that's what it's all about. Amen. That's what it's all about. Amen. Amen. Anybody want to join? All right. All right. All right. Mr. Kavon Isaiah Johnson is this young man's name. And brother young Kavon on on the behalf of this entire church, oh, on behalf of the entire congregation, I give you the right hand of welcome, welcoming you to Mount Horeb Beltline. Amen. And I also give you the right hand of fellowship, which will give you all the rights and privileges of any other member of this body of baptized believers. And we ask that you will use them to the glory of our God. Amen. Amen. Come on, man. Come on. Let's give. Amen. Man, come on, y'all. Come on. Amen. 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 This is our newest member. Okay. Thank you, Kavan. He got so much personality. Amen. I can't wait to see what he does in uh, does for the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're excited uh, tonight, tonight, tonight. We're taking our young folk to uh, the Universal Circus. Amen. Now we we had to rent a van. Uh, yeah, we had to rent a van uh, so that we'll be able to to take our kids to the My circus. My favorite black history person is Martin Luther King. Amen. Amen. And uh, we, we've had, we rented a van in order to transport our children. Uh, let me tell y'all that that's the reasoning uh, for the promised land plan is so that we can purchase a van. We, we can go out tomorrow and create another bill, but we don't want to do it that way. I believe it's enough of us here to where we can come together. You know, that's what the Beatles said, come together. Yeah, we can come together and purchase a van without creating a monthly note. And it's all tied in with the promised land plan, y'all. And matter, matter of fact, some of you may even have connections with some other folk. They, somebody may want to donate a van to the church. I mean, we don't know. You don't know unless you talk. 
Yeah, you don't know unless you talk. And so, and so, what is that? You got more tickets. Boy, look at God. This for the, you know, this, how many of these? Eight. We got eight more tickets. Uh, uh, come on now. Now, are, are these are these covered or are these going to be free tick? What are, what, what are these? They're free from my hand to your hand. They're, they're, no, those are. Amen. Well, we got Sister Nash. Come on, help me out. What, what we're doing? Huh? Oh, amen. Eight tickets. If somebody want to go tonight, got eight tickets. The Universal Circus is at Redbird Mall. Uh, so it's not far at all. We're asking uh, those of you that are going, especially the youth, especially the youth, we're asking uh, that you meet here at 530. Amen. 530 is the time that we're meeting here and we can ride together. Uh, our culinary arts committee uh, has, has have some some vittles back there. What is that? Nachos. Hey, <laughs> get you some nachos on your way out. Get you some nachos on your way out. Also, did anybody bring their their? pack their uh, sheet from Tuesday night. We still got a couple of more days. If you did not bring them today, bring them Tuesday night. Uh, for we're in the midst of our new members orientation. It's church wide. So if you, have not, if you did not bring it today, make sure you bring it on Tuesday night. And if you were not here last week, we looking for you this week. Amen. Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, for new members orientation. Everybody going through new members orientation. No, no, if you, if you, if you did the last page, uh, you don't have to turn in the entire packet, just the last page where you're adding your stuff up. That's the only page that we need. Okay? Okay. Giving our praises to God, um, from on behalf of the food pantry, I want to announce that the second Sunday, I mean, second Saturday, which should be the 11th, um, our food pantry will have its first um, giveaway, uh, community giveaway. Amen. So, so um, we are um, needing volunteers. It will be from 9.30 to 11.30, but of course we would need to be here earlier and we would set out uh, the, the bags with the, the meat, because we plan on giving them meat. The bags, we would already have them uh, bagged up and ready for them, but uh, the unclaimed items like uh, the kitchen stuff or whatever that we have, we would have those boxes set out for them to just be able to get what they want and canned goods and, and uh, uh, grains and that sort of thing. But I need people to volunteer. It's only from 9.30 to 11.30. We'll do it once a month. Uh, starting next month and yeah so please sign up y'all amen amen somebody ought to be happy about a food pantry amen 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 and thank you thank you thank you oh next Sunday we have a treat next Sunday next Sunday our uh, we have a special guest coming uh, all the way from where? East Moines, Illinois. Uh, our preacher for the morning next week will be our very own Big Steve and Teresa's son. Amen. Amen. He, he's coming for a sabbatical to get away from his church. And so when I found out he was coming this way, I said, well, come on and bring a sermon with you. And I've, I've talked to him. We've confirmed. So he shall be here next week. Come on and let's be a blessing. Uh, let's, let's hear what the Lord has to say through uh, Pastor Brian Smith. 
Amen. 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 So we're going to be uh, blessed on next week uh, with, with the wonderful uh, word from the Lord. And so uh, the next chance that you will have to hear me preach will be Tuesday at noon next week. Ain't nobody said amen. Lord have mercy. All y'all don't work at 12 noon. Somebody can come. I know Deacon Gibson going to be there. Amen. And I, 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 I got to preach to the preachers, y'all. So I need amen. Because preachers are some of the hardest preachers on preachers. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Amen. But I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I praise God for the opportunity. Amen. Amen. Any other announcements? Am I forgetting? Thursday. Thursday at 7 o'clock, the mime team, the praise dancers, uh, and the women, they're all collaborating for uh, their next performance. So we need all uh, the young men that mime, uh, if you did any praise dancing, and uh, the women, correct? And the women. Everybody. Everybody but the men. No, come on, men. Don't be scared. Some of y'all dance better than the women. Amen. Men are welcome as well. Amen. 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 Y'all ready to go? <laughs> I thought y'all liked being here. Lord have mercy. Y'all, Mother Hooper was out there cutting the rug last night. Yeah, y'all, y'all letting her show y'all up. So the next time y'all come on out and we're gonna have a good time in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Our closing remarks and our benediction is coming from the professor, Dr. S. C. Nash Sr. You can do it from right there, Doc. Oh, Lord, go with us now. Use us. This is our prayer. Amen. Amen. We love y'all. God bless you. Don't forget about the change bucket back there, y'all. Don't forget about the change bucket. We're going to be a blessing to someone.